Hello, hello everyone. This is Melissa with Enchanted Emerald bringing you a reading here for this Monday, October 3rd, 2022. I know it's been a minute. I have been sent on little divine missions and of course they keep me busy. They keep me hopping and um, happier and more fulfilled than ever, of course. So I hope you are also all feeling the same energies as October has fully gotten underway. Mercury retrograde has ended. Thankfully, we have survived it, uh, probably all um, intact here. I'm so grateful that that is over. So for me, I'm feeling with the energy right now is that this is really a very intuitive time. I usually feel that the month of October, almost always every October, the whole month is very intuitive energy. So I'm really feeling that I'm feeling that this is a time where we should be giving ourselves some grace, right? We aren't going to have it all figured out. We aren't going to have it all together. We have to be willing to learn and grow. We have to be willing to make mistakes. And we have to be willing to learn, um, you know, as we go with the energies, go with the flow of the energies and laugh at the mistakes that we make, right? And so... Um, you know, as you are able to embrace that and to work with that type of energy as it comes in for you, I think that that's going to be to your benefit, okay? So um, I did pull a card for us today. I don't always pull a card when I do readings. However, um, you know, I think that's just when I feel called to. Uh, most often I do, but um, so I use the Light Series Tarot and we have the Ace of Wands. And so this is very creative energy coming in. You can see the fire right inside. So um, what I feel with this is that it gives me this feeling of, I'm not sure if anybody is familiar with that um, movie. It's like from the 90s. It's called Matilda. And there was this little girl in that movie that she had the power, the gift of like, telekinesis, right? And so she had these authority figures in her life that weren't very nice to her. They were kind of bullies. And so she started to use her gifts to her advantage to kind of help her through that situation. And so this is what this is reminding me of when I look at this card, right? We have in this card... Um, spider webs is what it looks like to me, right? So I think of that, that song like Gwen Stefani where you're like walking through the spider webs, leave a message, call me back, um, and I'll call you back. So I feel as though it's about getting through your everyday tasks, getting through your everyday challenges, whether this is something that you're working on within your own mind, right? These challenges that are presenting within your, your own mind, so your own thoughts, things that you have to overcome, these limiting beliefs, um, you know, past traumas, things, flashbacks, things that are coming up for you in that way, or whether there's external things, could be a combination of both, right? Um, you know, really feel as though it's about overcoming all of that with your gifts, right? By focusing on your gifts, using your gifts, using that to your advantage, right? So it might be this whole essence that maybe you're feeling like people are not picking up what you're laying down, right? Maybe you are trying to use your gifts to your advantage. Maybe you are trying to get to others to kind of see things at your level, see things at how, you know, at a space of which, how you see things, right? And they're really not understanding you. They're not understanding your situation. They're not understanding what you're saying, right? Now, remember, people will respond to us in the frequency that we speak, right? And the frequency that they are at. So we have to meet them where they are at. We have to be able to speak to them on their level. And so, you know, if they are open to hearing you, if they can hear you and hear what you're saying in that way, that's a really great thing. And if they can't, then this might be a time for you to start seeking those that do understand you, that are on your level, right? And I feel like um, what comes in with this is that there's this feeling of this like honorary, honorable mention type energy, right? So there's this, you've put all of the effort, all of the energy into this. And I feel like there's people that are around, that are around you that are like taking advantage of that. They are getting the benefit of you doing the work, you putting all the work and energy in, right? So... 
Um, you could have put all of this energy in. You may not have a certain title. You may not be getting paid for what you're doing, but you're putting in so much time and energy and effort into something. Um, and you're feeling like it, you're just short of where you want to be. It may not have exactly gotten you to exactly what you were hoping for, but it's opened up doors for you. So what I mean by that is and what I feel with this is there could be other people kind of taking um, props for your work, right? They're the ones taking all of the, uh, you know, praises for that, right? And taking, you know, um, all of the merits for that, saying, you know, taking taking responsibility for your work. And so you might not necessarily um, be getting all of the rewards of it. And, and this other person might be, right? So maybe you submit all of your, your work and, and all of that to your boss and maybe your boss or your higher up is getting all the benefits of that, like higher pay or something like that. Or maybe you're doing all of this and um, you know, you are, you don't care. Maybe you don't care, right? Maybe that's not what you want. You know when you become a boss or a higher up, you get all of these added responsibilities and it's too much and this is nothing that you've ever wanted, right? But what's happening though is other people are seeing this. And so what this is doing is your name is being mentioned in rooms that your boss or whoever, right, is taking credit for your work. It's getting mentioned more and more among other people. So it's really opening up this network for you. And I really like this because this is gonna open up new opportunities for you and I'm getting chills. So this is really great stuff. And so this is validation, right? So you're going to start um, mingling with new people, being introduced to new people, right? They're really impressed with you. And you are going to start to have this creative play with energies, right? Because they're going to start asking you your opinion. They're going to start bouncing ideas off of you. You're going to bounce ideas off of them. It's going to be this really creative uh, back and forth energy. And it's going to lead to more and more creative energies. And creative energies are just going to abound. And I just, I love it, right? And that's really great really, especially with the energy as it is right now. And so this is something that's going to be great in terms of bringing in new opportunities for you, magnetizing new opportunities to you. And this is something, when you look at this Ace of Wands and you see that fire inside, right? Sometimes I think that, you know, we have a tendency to kind of hold some of these ideas within, right? We don't Maybe this is out of fear, right? Sometimes we don't want to express ourselves fully. We have a fear of what comes with that, the responsibility of being higher up, right? Um, or we have a fear of being rejected. Things that have happened in our past, transpired in our past, kind of influence us as to why we may make that decision to not express that. But there's a clear established uh, caution here from spirit that this creative energy is nothing without an outlet, right? This creative energy could light and um, ignite within you and then certainly also um, die down within you as well if you are not doing anything with that. So if you keep this creative energy pent up inside, nobody benefits from it least of all you. But this is really meant to be explored, really meant to be expressed, really meant to be put out into the collective, right? This is why Spirit is giving you this, this fire, this passion, this creative energy, these beautiful ideas, right? They're meant to be put out there. Now, you might be feeling like I am introducing chaos into what is already structured, right? I don't want to be upsetting this apple cart by putting new ideas out there when there's already, you know, certain systems in place, structures in place, and they're working, right? You might feel like they're working. Um, or maybe they're working, but there's some things that could use improvement, right? Because there's always room for improvement with everything. But these are outdated systems, okay? And this is how we give rise to new systems, 
new and improved systems, right? So new routines, new systems, new structure, new order, new civilization, new earth, like this all comes about as a result of the ideas of uh, being put out there, right? Being placed in our hearts and on our hearts and on our minds, right? From spirit and then being put out into the collective as a result of that. So we have to be willing to adapt to that and we really have to understand that we can underestimate ourselves sometimes. So we don't wanna underestimate what we are capable of, right? We have these placed on our hearts to take action on them for a reason, right? We are all here for a certain purpose and with a certain mission and you know this could be something that's placed on your heart because you're the one that's capable of it and you have the doubts that are keeping you from taking action on that and you are fully capable of it because spirit wouldn't give you that mission if you weren't capable of that right so think that sometimes we get stuck in our head which is those cobwebs right we really have to be able to overcome those cobwebs and overcome some of those things um, by challenging them. So you have to kind of be a warrior here and working through those cobwebs. Now think about how easily cobwebs are cleared, right? When you walk through them, you know, you can easily bat them out of your way. Sure, they're a nuisance, right? But you have to be able to clear them to get to the other side. So think about that when, when some of these um, doubts are creeping in, when some of these limiting beliefs are cre creeping in, like I can't, right? Start to challenge some of those things by asking yourself, is that true first and foremost? And then also starting to follow that up with some action to challenge that. So um, I do feel like this is gonna be a mission in which we are working with our hands a lot. So we could be really working with building something, physically building something, or we could be working with healing, healing some, someone or something, <coughs> excuse me, or it could be some sort of therapeutic touch. I just feel like um, these are our creative energies that, that all can be expressed in a, a physical manner, right? Um, so whether, however your creative energies are ready to be expressed or, or whether, whether you're willing to explore that or ready to explore that, I encourage you to do so, right? Um, the throat chakra is also another one. And so you can see, um, my throat chakra is kind of <clears throat> coming, coming up here in this reading. So... With this throat chakra, we have to be able to recognize that each and every one of us, we bring differences to the table, right? And we have to understand that each one of us contributes to the whole in a different way. And that doesn't make any of us or our ideas or our expression of our ideas any less important than another, right? There is a whole purpose in a whole schematic of this, right? I, I think of more like a mandala, how every tiny little piece of sand in that, that you know, a grain of sand um, in that mandala creates this big, beautiful masterpiece. Um, think of us as each a, a colored grain of sand in our expression of our um, creative energies and, and what we are meant to be doing in this life contributes to the whole and then it creates this really beautiful um, masterpiece or even like a mosaic if you're looking at pictures, right? Like one picture, one, uh, one whole of us and then how you place them all in certain areas and then you see the bigger picture, right? So I really feel like it's all purposeful and so we have to really be able to recognize that no matter what you think is important to you, it may not be quite as important to another person and they might have something placed on their heart that is, is important to them and we have to be able to recognize that and respect that because it, it's important to the whole. And so recognizing this, embracing this, 
um, as we embrace our confidence in speaking our truth, living our truth, and then empowering others to do the same, that is all purposeful in the end in creating uh, the, the new, weaving the new of the masterpiece of what is, right, our collective. So a uh, beautiful message here for us for Monday. I do so hope that this resonates for you in some way, shape, or form. As always, if you're interested in your own personal reading, I'd love to be able to do that for you. You can hit me up on Facebook in the Messenger, or you can email me at enchantedemeraldny at gmail.com, or you can just book a session right at the square site pinned in the description box below here on the YouTube or at the top of my business page on Facebook, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Do me a favor, if you appreciate this reading, if you liked this reading, if it resonated in some way, shape, or form, please don't hesitate to hit that like button below, share me out, hit, hit me in the comments with a smiley face, do something to help to support my channel. I would appreciate that so much, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Take care.